Hello there everyone, of course I'm John Doyle right here in Tokyo, Japan and we're going to do another edition of the Ghost Letters Report. Now something very interesting that has recently happened here in Japan it's come to light that a lot of apparently fishing boats are shown up along the coastline of Japan containing a lot of dead bodies right a lot of dead bodies a lot of the bodies were extremely decomposed and some of them have become skeletal now the Japanese government and the police were quick to say well these boats are obviously fishing boats from the DPRK otherwise known as North Korea because it had um, Korean markings on the boats they're uh, very simple design and the lack of a GPS navigation system where they claim that often uh, North Korean fishing boats get lost at sea apparently which I haven't seen a lot of a uh, way to confirm that although through other than a couple of claims about it you know so it seems a bit peculiar to me that they were quick to say this now, let me tell you why for God, several months now there's been a actual Yakuza war going on here in Japan due to a split of one of the major Yakuza factions and it had been, it'd been quiet for a while but recently some things have been going on which makes me think it's possibly some Yakuza stuff going on rather than you know unfortunate DPRK defectors dying at sea or a supposed terrorist attack or something like that. Let me point out three specific cases, this one included, that makes it lean to more some Yakuza stuff going on given the history of Japan than it is other things that are kind of being implied or claimed. The first thing was um, recently there was an assassination of a Yakuza boss, not a high level one, kind of a mid ranking one. And then later on, I did a video on the uh, second incident where there was a bomb exploded at Yakusuni Shrine and I've been kind of hesitant to say exactly what that is because it could be several things but given that no one was injured and the size of the bomb and how simple it was possibly could have been an attempted Yakuza hit and now this comes out now let's think about this recent case if you were um, involved in organized crime you want to take out a lot of people really fast and given you're in Japan and you're in Japan you got to operate a lot more covertly you need to get rid of a lot of people but you want to cover your tracks to, to create some uh, plausible um, deniability well what would you do hmm, let's think let's see the Japanese government hates North Korea looks to blame North Korea on anything you want to have almost no evidence of this ah what you could possibly do is kill all these people, put them on fishing boats that resemble North Korean fishing boats, throw on some Korean markings, uh, strip the boats of any type of technology, or what we call modern technology, push them out into the sea and let them float. It's going to be a while for anyone to pick these boats up because they're so simple. They're little fishing boats. You know, it's not something that's going to show up on the radar very quickly. So they'll have time to sit there and rot and decompose. And eventually, you know, the way the, the tides are and the waves in, in, the, in this part of the world, eventually they're probably going to start floating towards Japan again. Of course, the, the, the Coast Guard is going to find them and the police are going to get involved and go, Oh, well, look at these boats that look like North Korean boats. Ah, must be some defectors that, that tried to escape. Now, I'm not saying this is exactly what happened, but I keep, man, these things that have happened recently in Japan are kind of in, uh, unprecedented in recent years. I haven't seen this type of stuff go on in quite some time and it's happening kind of quickly one after another and it could be very well related to this Yakuza war because everybody been waiting for it to get nasty because typically Yakuza wars get nasty and it was quiet for a while and bam 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 three things like this like really kind of shocking things that happen in Japanese society just happen you know and one of them were undeniably uh, something to involve Yakuza, so I'm starting to lean towards these recent events are more Yakuza related because they seem more like Yakuza when I think about Japanese society and how these type 
what these type of events are usually connected to rather than what the government wants to imply they could be connected to or claim they're connected to. Yeah, but I want to hear what you guys think about this latest event of always uh, boats showing up on a coastline full of extremely decomposed bodies. Is it really um, DPRK fishing boats? These fishermen try to escape North Korea? Or could it be more of a mob hits and carefully cover their tracks? Like I said, I don't, like I said, I don't know for sure. I'm just going by what seems most likely here of course i don't know for sure so i want to hear what you guys think about this in the comment box below first time you see me hey man subscribe lots of videos like this plus protests plus rallies plus uh, interviews from time to time all kinds of interesting stuff and there's an archive you can check out as well to see past videos so until next time this is me john doe in tokyo check it out